Hi guys, welcome back to my run, Front Mission First Remake. Just loading up right now. Alright, here we go. This is what I want. We'll miss with the pricks right the fuck out of the water. Yeah, I believe that Governor Abbott 
Excellent. Go back here. Well, Republicans have insisted that 
This president has the authority, the legal authority, to close down the border if he wants to. There are many different legal opinions about that, but if executive orders are being considered at all, it is an election year, so it would stand a reason that they will come at some point before people start voting if immigration remains the top issue. But he does have the legal power to do that. He can issue executive orders. I think he reported that up to nine years of having to do with this issue as soon as he's took office. Uh, so he can issue executive orders to reverse those orders. He has and it does it. Maybe he was waiting for this thing to explode and it did. And that's so the prick of these fuckers. Policy right now, right? No, no indication. One. Biden also made some more comments between 
Three fucking shots. Cheating bastard. Did you know that the ghost strike that he shared classified documents with destroyed the tapes when he found out there was a special counsel? So the minute he hears it being under investigation, 
for his handling rides about Dominic. They've gone through weeks, all of the tapes of Joe Biden. And then they're not going to crush him, of course. But they have Joe Biden on tape, and I would love to hear these tapes, because Joe Biden is on tape saying, yeah, these are classified. And he's sharing classified information with the third grader. It's what David Petraeus got bought for. It's the exact same thing. And then they say this guy's painfully slow. Oh, the Empire. The significant limitation struggles to remember events, straining at times to read and relate with his own notes. This was seven years ago. We're now seven years after the fact. And we're talking not only 25th Amendment, we're talking about you might have to bow out. Because the crescendo now is going to grow so long that not just the people in the press group, but other Democrats are going to see this and read this. And they say, how can you do this to this guy? Because right now, this was a Ooh, devastating gosh. body going into the re election campaign. No matter how they want to spin it, this was bad. Can you imagine being a press secretary thinking about that briefing tomorrow? Oh, I might will be. I might call in sick, Judge. Uh, I wonder. Talk about the White House response to Robert Burr saying that the comments about mental duty are superfluous and unnecessary, and that they said that they weren't and that they're not true, and they want they wanted Robert Burr to take them out. Well, and he did. Well, okay. So you can't have a both ways. The comments are not true. But the conclusion that came to to not indict uh, Joe Biden is accurate and to the point. Let me tell you something. This report is worse than an indictment. This report demands the 25th Amendment, and here's my constitution. This man needs to be thrown out of office. And there's another point. The fact that they talk about the fact that he's an old man with a poor memory seven years ago that he's sharing classified documents at a time when he's not even president. Donald Trump was president. This guy was in possession of documents as a senator, as a vice president. He had no right to have that information. Sharing it with his ghostwriter, sharing it, I'm sure, with the editor. The editor would not have published the book without making sure that everything in that book didn't have the backup. I've written eight books. I know that. And then they say, well, he also showed a letter from Kim Jong-un to Bob Woodward. Uh, in the Oval Office. Everything about this tells and shows the American people how there are two separate systems of justice. And this is where my prosecutor comes through. If you get to the point where you say no jury will convict this guy because he is not Thomas Mentis, because he does not have the mental capacity to form the intent, that means you've already gotten to the point where you believe he should be indicted, but you're not indicting him because you don't believe the jury will find him competent to stand trial. This is the worst thing that can happen to Joe Biden. Let me say one more thing about that. When they made the decision to not indict, they still could have indicted him the way they indicted Donald Trump for espionage. The espionage charges that Donald Trump is under by crazy Jack Smith don't involve intent or will unless they involve gross negligence. So if you want to tell me Joe Biden can't formulate intent, he cannot formulate a, a, a willfulness, if that for sure you can get from gross negligence. Explain to me, Mr. Harbour, why there is a difference there. And this is I think against Donald Trump for another reason that I don't want to have the time should be dismissed based upon the junk that this whole thing is. Harold, I want to hear everything you have to say, but I want to set it up this way. So the special counsel is saying that Biden is too old and incompetent to be held responsible for mishandling classified information and state secret. And Biden is saying, I am not too old and I am not incompetent and I want four more years as the leader of the free world. How is that supposed to go over? So uh, this is a tough day for the White House and the President Biden. I think two things, and I think uh, the judge said some of it, uh, and basically everyone, everyone has said things that I agree with. I don't agree, disagree with a whole lot. The thing for me is what Mr. Hurst said, that he willfully retained the documents, which uh, on the Trump matter has been the predicate for why charges were brought. So if you believe he willfully retained the documents, but your argument, uh, the, the President's argument, President Biden's argument, that I cooperated fully with the President, uh, President Trump did not. If you believe that is the case, it looks like that could be the case, at least from the reading of the public narrative.
Then maybe President Trump should have been charged with all the obstruction of justice. Exactly. Uh, they may not have should have been charged with, with the, the handling of the documents. This case here, the way it has been handled, will certainly give more credence to that argument. Uh, but we can't ignore politics. Politics are the key with the legal part of it, and it's certainly viewed with, with the second part, which is the Senator's conclusion that if he took this before jury, that Mr. Biden might seem sympathetic because he's an older fellow with diminished memory. Uh, the White House is pushing back on that. It is going to be difficult to push back on that. I judge I, I agree with, I agree with your, your, your statement there. But to reconcile the two, I was, I'm too old and my memory is too slight for me to be prosecuted. Uh, but I should get four more years, which is what Dana said. This is a... Uh, it's a complicated piece for... $19,000. That's a lot for upgrades. The question becomes of the President Trump. We're talking about President Trump. Former President Trump. Why was he charged if he won't be the table documents when President Biden was not? And if the reason is because President Trump, I get the reason he didn't cooperate and he told people not to cooperate, that would seem to me to be an obstruction charge. But... I just put it while you're on the back. So people might remember this from 60 Minutes. This is when Biden talked about Trump being irresponsible. How does that happen? How or why anyone could be that irresponsible? And I thought, what data was in there that made compromised sources and methods? By that I mean names of people who helped or et cetera. And it's just uh, totally irresponsible. Right. Maybe he didn't remember that he had it too. Yeah, it, well, it, it's it's part of that pattern. It's like they, they always blame the Republicans or anybody for what they're actually doing. Uh, but I hear Biden is, he he's fine. He just spoke to Ruth Bader Ginsburg. <laughs> and she told him he can't be tried. So that's good news. That's good news. Um, I, I also kind of look, I, I find this a bit ageist as somebody who's young. That means if I commit a crime, I can't say that I have age-related mental cognitive difficulties. Don't you find that wrong? It's unfair that he gets that defense and I don't. Maybe it's like five more years. Yeah. You <laughs> yeah. The other thing, too, this could be related, is the crime could be related to Trump arrangements. There might be an actual biological underpinning that when your brain is uh, a focus on a set of thought for a period of years, then the other parts of your brain after these. You're seeing this a lot with people who can get. They're like, they're, they're failing in their jobs and their relationships because they've overcome the Trump. What do you think the Democrats are actually thinking now behind closed doors? I, I can imagine, what do you think Gavin Newsom's thinking right now? Are you in some of it? Well, I don't want to say what Gavin Newsom's thinking right now because it's dirty. <laughs> but if I were a Democrat, I probably know that this was already happening. It's being whispered about, everybody knows. This is what, this thing here, what Jeff said is the same thing. This is what they've been trying to hide for three years. And so Robert Kerr spends two days with the president. Let's just say five to six hours. So that's more time than any reporter in three years has ever spent with the president. It's more time than we've ever really seen with the president. Could you imagine Brett Baer, or let's just say Brett Baer, sitting down with Joe Biden for five hours and asking him questions about policy and his performance? Well, her did it, and the conclusion was the man has diminished faculties. This is the biggest insight that we can get about the president from anybody in a non-partisan way. Alright guys, we'll catch you next time, alright? Take stuff home. It's the same argument that 